Hey friends, you are with Kim Byers at The Celebration Shop, and today we're going to do something a little different. So today I'm not going to be doing a craft project with you, but instead I'm going to be talking to you about the Cricut Joy. So yesterday I unboxed the Cricut Joy, we set it up, um, we went through the first cut of the machine, uh, I talked to you a little bit about um, what the machine does and that kind of thing, but today what I thought I would do is I would talk to you specifically about exactly what the Cricut Joy is, who it's best for, how it's different from uh, the Maker and the Explore Air 2, um, and we can also talk a little bit about like what materials you can use with it and that kind of thing. Um, so let's hop over and get busy. Okay, so if you haven't seen the video about the unboxing, this is what the Cricut Joy looks like. Very tiny, very compact, easy to transport, easy to carry around. Um, so if we're talking about who the Cricut Joy is good for, um, in my opinion, I would say the Cricut Joy is gonna be great for people like myself. I have a Maker, I have an Explore Air 2, um, but the, both of those are a little cumbersome to travel with. I like to go craft with my mom or craft with friends or, you know, you're having a baby shower and you want to make little onesies as part of like an activity at the shower. This machine is perfect for that because you could just grab it and go and there's not, um, it's not heavy, it's not cumbersome, it's not difficult to travel with. So that's one thing. This machine too, um, I had some people ask, you know, is it great for the beginner? Well, yes and no. So in my mind, um, this machine is great for the beginner if they want to do smaller projects. So if they want to put vinyl on mugs, if they want to make um, you know, onesies for their baby, if they want to label all the things in their kitchen, yes, this is like the perfect, perfect, whether you're a beginner or not, machine for you. If you are dreaming of doing bigger things um, and you know working with felt and working with um, you know putting making canvas for your house and um, just a whole number of things like the Explore Air 2 is going to be the place for you to go. So the skip and the jump from you know the money perspective of that, yes, the joy is cheaper. Uh, but if you are dreaming of doing bigger things and you want to be able to use a 12 by 24 mat or a 12 by um, 12 mat, then you're going to want to jump up and do the Explore Air 2. Other people this is good for. Um, so if you are um, an individual with not a lot of space in your house, so you don't have a craft room, um, you want to craft but you don't have a place to store a lot of stuff, um, you have a small apartment or candidly you just don't have any space and you find yourself at the kitchen table a lot, this machine is perfect for you because you can still do tons of things but you don't have to um, have a large space to do them in. Um, if you look at the blog post, and I'll link it down below, but if you look at that, I mean you can see this machine is so tiny, right, that you could even set it on the bedside table and craft in your bedroom. <laughs> I mean it literally is that small. Other people that this would be good for? Dabblers. Craft dabblers. People who um, want to craft and want to do stuff, but they don't want to do it all the time. This is something that, you know, that you're doing every once in a while. Maybe you're organizing your kitchen. Um, maybe you're making a card um, for someone. People who love to make cards, this is the machine for you. I'm going to do a whole video about um, card making. And actually, see, I could grab these really quick. So these are the cards that it makes. They're like one cut cards, but they are absolutely darling. Can you see that? Absolutely darling. And like here's another one that's sweet. Um, but these are super simple cuts, things that you can do in just a couple of minutes. Those kinds of people this machine is perfect for. People asked me um, in the comments, so what makes this machine different from the Maker? and from the Cricut Explore um, Air 2. So they have a lot of similarities, but they have a lot of differences too. So of course the Joy is very small. We just went through that. The Joy is compact and easy to store. It doesn't need a lot of space. You can carry it with you easily. Um, it's gonna cut um, vinyl, iron-on, cardstock. It's gonna use the pen. Um, it is not going to, however, cut fabric. So if you want to sew, 
you still need to go with the maker. Um, it's also um, not going to use the same pens that the other machines use. Um, it is uses a smaller pen, but it does still, the similarity there, it does still use pens. So you can use pens. Um, you can use infusible ink. So there's infusible ink pens and um, sheets that you can use with the Joy. Um, things that it doesn't do. So again, it's not going to do any of the fabrics. It's not going to have any of the blades that you can switch out that you can do with the Maker. Um, it is a mini version of the Explorer Air 2 minus several of the cuts that you fabrics or not fabrics materials like felt and foam and that kind of thing the Explorer Air 2 can do those kinds of things and this little machine will not okay other things that are on the positive of this machine so it does not always have to use a mat so there are um, smart smart materials so let me see if I can find one okay so smart vinyl so smart vinyl basically does not need a mat that's what it means by smart. So you can literally feed it into the machine and you don't have to have a mat. Um, the other thing is that this machine has it, the other doesn't. This smart vinyl is 20 feet long. 20 feet! Which means that you can do really long um, pieces of art for home decor. Um, or a sign, a birthday sign. I mean, you can do long things like um, on my blog post there is an image of a lady who decorated the entire wall of her um, child's bedroom with like different space things like spaceship and moons and stars and all that kind of thing. It's fantastic for that. It's beautiful for that. There's also, which this is really cool, this smart label, it's writable. So you can um, cut out this, you know, the darling label and you can use the pens to write on it. So I don't recommend the gel pens just because for some reason it doesn't dry is quick um, as it's feeding through, but the other pens are absolutely fine. Um, things that it has that the others don't, cards. Um, now you can make tons of cards obviously on the Maker and on the Explore Air 2, but these cards are like pre-cut. Let's see if I, well I can show you with this. So it's actually like this piece, you know, this full piece of paper is already cut and the score is already there you are literally feeding it in and it is cutting and writing on one side and so all you have to do is pull it out and it's already folded and you just you know obviously write on the inside of it or whatnot so that's really cool yeah so i love the card feature of this and it has its own mat and i'm sorry i keep going off camera <laughs> it has its own mat um that's for cards and it so it feeds right through and makes sure that it doesn't cut through to the other side um, it makes sure that you have a perfect card every single time and we'll be doing a separate video for that i even got a question about color um, and i get it because i do love to have um, some of the colors of the machines that i have i love my gold and then i have a white um, but i had a pink at one point um, which i gave to my mom <laughs> Um, so, but no, this machine has one color, um, right now, anyway, it just has the one color. So it has this beautiful, you know, aqua blue, and it does have tools to match. So there's like this little starter kit, um, tool kit, so where you get the weeder, the spatula, um, and the scraper. And so you'll have little tools to match. And then the mats, of course, I showed these in the unboxing video, but the mats are super cute and tiny. And there's a little bag that goes with it, like a travel bag, which I will be using all the time as I wanna take it places with me when I craft. Okay, guys, so I hope that helps you to make decisions about um, the Cricut Joy and if it's right for you. And I hope you'll leave uh, questions down below. I'll be happy to answer anything you have. I have links down in the description below so you can learn more at Cricut.com. And I hope you'll hit subscribe and ring that bell. And I'll see you guys next time.